Hey everybody, Mark Presley here. How you doing? You know, I'm really excited because I'm getting ready for the first time. I'm getting ready to print my first 3D object on my MakerBot 3D printer. And can you guess what I'm going to make? I'm going to make my very own customized thimble. Exciting, right? <laughs> now, for those of you that know me, you know that I'm a big fan of thimbles. And, you know, I tried doing magic with cards and coins, but, you know, I just wasn't feeling the love. You know what I mean? And magic, when you're, tr you're trying to find that something that you're good at. And so one day I was watching some DVDs, and it was uh, Jeff McBride, his thimble magic. And I was instantly hooked. And then I started exploring more and, and doing more with thimbles. I, I started looking into any book or DVD that I could find on thimbles. And, you know, a big fan of mine is also Shoot and Joe Moger. So a lot of those are my inspiration in Thimble Magic. And so I hope that with some of my you know, expertise and knowledge that uh, I could inspire some others out there to just try out thimbles. They're a lot of fun, and I you just don't see them too much. I, I really do think it's a lost art. And uh, I'll take a look over here. This is just a small sample of my thimble collection. I, I have a utopia of thimbles, and I have various shapes and sizes and you know I started exploring using other objects for thimbles for example this right here I was in a truck store and I saw this and I thought you know that, that would be really cool this is actually this actually goes inside the the nut of uh, a hubcap or, or the rim of the truck and it, it's nice and shiny because as you know trucks it's all about the chrome right and then I have a wooden thimble here. It's another large one. There's another another large one. These are great for making transformations where you're going to make a small thimble change into a large thimble. So that's what I use those for. And these right here are from various magic kits that I've collected over the years. Right here is a Vernet thimble. And here's a wooden thimble. Very rare. You don't see too many wooden thimbles. And that has a little bit of bling on it. And over here is a Joe Moger thimble. And right here is your classic thimble that you would find, uh, you know, in your sewing kit. And this right here, I actually took off of a cologne bottle. So, you know, you could be creative and, you know, just explore, look around your house, uh, different bottles that have caps on it, and see if you could use those as a thimble. This has a nice shine to it. And these are the automatic thimbles. These glow in the dark. Those are really nice. Those are fun if you're working in a nightclub because those glow. And let's see. Now, the Vernet thimbles. These are my favorite. This is the, the type, this is the brand that I use in my Master of Thimbles routine. And, you know, there's different textures with thimbles, as you may know. And I use those different textures for different applications. And the ones that work the best for me for a lot of my thimble work is the Vernet ones because they, they're nice and smooth. And you'll find ones that are, you know, a little bit ribbed. So I use those for different applications. And this is kind of fun right here. Check this out. I found this in the dollar store. And these are like little whistles. I found this in the party area. And these come in a package of six. And they're various colors. Right here I have one that's kind of like a bronze 
color. And here's the thing, when I, when I saw this, I immediately thought, that's a thimble. And not only is it a thimble, but it has multiple uses. You could uh, make some beautiful music. And after you annoy the heck out of people, you could then take that whistle and just vanish it. And after you're looking high and low, you discover it was in your mouth the whole time. All right, well, you know, I got to get heading out because as I was making this video, my thimble is literally being printed right now. So I just want to check on it, see how it's going. You know, how cool is that? I always wanted to make my own line of thimbles. And so this is going to be a great beta run, a little test run, see how it goes. So hopefully when I come back, you'll see my customized thimble. All right, hang tight. We're printing a customized thimble. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So are you ready to see my 3D printed thimble? Can I have a drum roll, please? Eh, not too bad. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Not too shabby, huh? It's a nice purple. And, you know, I actually wanted a red, but I'm a little bit limited. I have white and purple filament. I don't have red filament, so... Those were the two choices, so I picked purple. And now the other thing is, this needs a little bit of work. I mean, for a first time, it's not too bad, but I actually wanted it smooth. It's kind of uh, has a, a ribbed feel, texture to it. So, But that's okay, because, you know, I, I invented this 3D color paper which works great because if you don't uh, have the fulfillment color that you want, you could use this paper instead of you know going out and buying the filament. Well, this is how it works. All I have to do is you have to use a marker for whatever color uh, filament you want. So again, this is purple. I really wanted red. So I'm going to just write the word on here red and you, again you have to have the color marker that matches so hopefully you'll be able to see at home see red and so now all I have to do is I take whatever object uh, that I want to change color and I I wrap it inside this color printer paper. So I'm just going to wrap it up in there. Just like so. And now I'm going to need a, a lighter. And so this is how it works. You just kind of light it and whoa, you see that? It instantly changes color. So that's really, that's kind of cool. You know, it, it saves on money. And, uh, you know, I got my color red, and it's also nice and smooth now. So, cool. Hey, well, again, I'm Mark Presley, and thank you for watching this video, and I hope to make more videos. So, have a great one. Thanks for your time.